Good morning guys. Uh, today we have a nice task. I hope uh, I can fix it in this morning because it's going to get very hot. It's already very warm right now. So, uh, the upper entrance, it's very narrow. So I'm going to wide, wider it up a little bit. So I'm going to take this corner out here. See, this is the entrance, but some people that came with a camper or a caravan had trouble getting in here. So I'm going to get this corner out. Let's do it. All right, guys, the moment is here. We are going to place the door. We already made some holes. And this is going to be the beautiful plate that will be here. So it's a little sneak peek. All right. I was going in the greenhouse. Good, very good. Everything is growing. The ducks like it too. They even like a shower. Look. <laughs> yeah, they are ducks, right? They, they like love water. water. Well, everything is growing amazing. What do we have in here? We have um, paprikas. No, <laughs> no. This is oh, all tomatoes. This sorry. is all tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> but different varieties. Yes. A little bit of lettuce. A little bit. We had we had more, but I think the um, snails. Yeah. The snails ate them, and here we have blueberries. Also. This growing. one I like the most. I hope we get a lot of them. Me too. And here I planted some uh, lemon. I uh, had some lemon seeds, just from the lemons from the neighbors. So let's see if they grow, but they are already growing quite good. So uh, everything is going well. <laughs> All right, guys, so we come from the greenhouse and let's have a look how far we have come today with the shower building. <laughs> Looks really nice. And on top of here, we're going to also place uh, wood here as well. So you don't see the concrete and the same color as this. The inside so far. So this is the wooden plate. It's uh, attached now. Here will come the mirror, the water. So uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the results so far. Here will be a light. There another light. So this wall also will be done anytime soon. So today is a very good day so far. Also, we got reinforcement. The neighbor also helped me with the concrete plate and we also got other friends from town. They came to help. So, so we have the plates on top and it looks pretty nice isn't it now here will come the barbecue here the pizza oven so today was a very fruitful day and I'm uh, I'm really happy tonight we're going to chill with friends so uh, it's time to take a shower and chill all right guys so now that the plates are on top uh, I have to fill up the gaps underneath because as you can see there's little gaps everywhere so I will put some concrete underneath so I thought well if I have to make some more concrete I might as well start with the fireplace <laughs> so I dug a little hole over here I'm going to pour some concrete in a little layer and then put some bricks around it and then this will be the fireplace we can sit around so um, that's the thing i'm going to do right now let's get it
All right, guys. So at this moment, I am drawing and calculating how I'm going to lay the bricks. <laughs> also, this is going to be the first time ever that I make something like this because you knew like the masonry I did down here was the first time I ever did masonry. So I'm very curious how it turns out actually. <laughs> but my thing is I just start and along the way I just adjust and in the end we will get somewhere eventually. Might be not the most beautiful one, but in the end, I'm sure it will work and we can make a nice decent pizza in it. All right guys, so as you can see, I started building the fireplace. It, uh, it is in check right now, so uh, we can let it dry and let's see how it turns out. It, it looks quite nice actually. I just don't know how strong that it will be, but um, yeah. I think it will be strong enough for a fireplace. Then, I started a little bit with the layout of how everything will look like. So, as you know, the barbecue and here the pizza oven. With the pizza oven, I start with the first layer. The outside will be around 50 centimeters high. So, uh, yeah, it's a different kind of cement. So I have to learn a little bit how to work with it. But, but we will get there step by step so what I will do now is uh, I lay the first layer now I will put the inside already there because when it is closed I cannot use the uh, the fire resistant stones on the bottom because it will be too difficult so I'm going to do that right now uh, and after I do that I put some plastic on top of it so when I continue with my uh, masonry of the the bowl I will not ruin the beautiful fireproof stones where the pizzas will be on top of you know so to keep it a little bit sterile I will do it like that and uh, yeah I have these things because I am going to cut them in the shape I desire the round to be and then I place a lot of it on the inside and then the stones won't fall to the inside it won't collapse you know so uh, at least that's how i saw it being done on some other youtube videos so i'm just going to try it out but i think it will be good right like everything i do i just start and i will see how it goes so uh right now i'm going to take a little break and uh, i'll keep you guys updated Okay guys, let's have a look how it's going with the pizza oven. All right, so as you can see, I made um, yeah, a customized piece of carbo, I don't know how you call that stuff, but the point of this is, I place this in the middle. Now I can make a nice bow over here with stones like this. And then they don't fall on the bottom <laughs> so uh, looks pretty good I'm happy with the result um, so my plan is to finish this part today then I go to the store and buy some more uh, cement and also uh, a pipe for the smoke to go out because I didn't have that yet <laughs> so the inside with the fire resistant bricks is also laid I placed some plastic on top so it didn't get dirty so yeah, this is how uh, this is how you do it so far. <laughs> All right, guys. So the portal is ready. All right, guys. So uh, today I cannot continue with building the pizza oven because it is very windy maybe you can hear it now but I asked I have this foam kind of things which I have to put on the inside of the oven so the stones don't fall on the inside but if I put them there now they blow away by the wind so uh, I continue on changing our stairs I haven't showed you in previous videos 
videos yet, but I decided to change our stairway to the upper terraces because we used like literally one meter of the land of our neighbor. But yeah, I just decided to change it up, put it on our own land so we don't get any tro troubles with that or whatever. So, what did I do? Uh, the stairway was previously upstairs there and then to the right. I don't, for the people who follow me, they probably know. Uh, and this was just like that. So I decided to get all the stones out because this here, when the stair is, is going through, this was all rocks on the inside. So I took all the rocks out, made a nice wall here, made a nice wall there as well. And here too a little bit, now making the stairways up. I just carved the sand out at this moment and made the first three stairs with concrete. Uh, yeah, so later when I have spare time, I will do the rest. But this will do it for now. We can walk up, that's the most important. So that we can walk up is the most important for now, and I will just do it when we have spare time. When I have spare time. I also went to the store today to buy some extra stones and extra cement, cement. and uh, yeah, I ate the tuna two days ago, <laughs> I don't feel very good today, so I'm a little bit more chill, but I, I couldn't just sit down and do nothing, because then I don't feel, uh, I don't feel nice, so it's like, instead of going inside and uh, feeling silly and whatever, I was like, let's just continue on the stairs, not too heavy work, although I had to work out with the concrete, but still, it's, uh, it also had to be done. So, going towards the better weather, it's good to have a nice stairs, right? So in the end, as you can see, I did the stairs with two poles of wood and a piece of wood, but there are two stairs that already got yeah, molded, maybe by Bowie or whatever. So, it's not a sustainable solution for the long term. It's nice for one season, but the wood starts to rot. Uh, the poles and then the other sheet of wood unfolds to the front side. So I think I have to do the entire stairs with concrete So it's <laughs> it is quite a job, but uh, I will just do whenever I have spare time one or two or three stairs and then yeah By the end of the summer when the summer begins we will probably be finished, right? Long story about the fucking stairs. Yeah, I know. Sorry. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm working on the dome. It's not very beautiful, but that doesn't matter because on the outside of the dome, there will be a layer of clay, which I can make very nice. So yeah, it's not very beautiful, but uh, it works. <laughs> Alright guys, as you see, we are proceeding pretty well. I'm almost finished with the dome. It's, uh, it's quite some work and there's a lot of cement that's going in here. But uh, yeah, so far so good. So just, yeah, let's fix it up. Alright guys, it's another beautiful day. Uh, yesterday I finished the dome at least structure so now that this is in check uh, we can start with the cover 
So, how are we going to cover it up? To do that, I have clay, hay, and water. So the first layer will be uh, with clay and hay, so that the uh, so that the clay will stick together, and then after that, a tiny layer of only clay, so you have a nice smooth surface on the outside. So I don't know how this is going to <laughs> take place, or form, or shape, or whatever, but just let's get started. Hier kan je ook compotten van maken en zo Dat is wat ze gebruiken daar bij. Uh... Ik heb dan het net voor. All right, guys, the clay is on top. And since it is not perfectly smooth, I think I'm going to wet it up and throw a little bit of the white sand on it. So you have like a, yeah, a robustic look. Let's try it out. All right, guys. Ta -da! Yeah, the pizza oven is ready. Of course, there's a little bit of clay here on top, but I will clean that with water. And uh, yeah, I covered it with a little bit of yellow sand to give it that robust look, right? Like I told you. So now we can leave it here to dry. I am not sure if it is a good idea to light up the oven so the clay will dry faster or that we just let it dry naturally. I think naturally. Yeah? Yeah. yeah let's just wait. Now we can... Take this part out. <laughs> Surprise! Another Surprise. one! Surprise! <laughs> there are many more. Look. What up happened? Look, it starts cracking everywhere. So I don't know what I did wrong. I think I used too little hay to keep it together, you know. But yeah, unfortunately, because it looked really nice. <laughs> and now I think I have to do it all over again. Ah. All right, guys, so unfortunately, the clay doesn't hold up it starts cracking everywhere so I'm going to remove it and then skip the clay and just add a, a cement because I read on the internet that is also possible and I don't want to get my hands so dirty again with, with all this clay so uh, yeah the only thing I'm not convinced of yet is whether I have to use fire resistant concrete or regular concrete because I already used the, the heat resistant uh, concrete in between the stones and I used heat resistant stones so the outer layer I don't know if it needs to be with heat resistant concrete or not so I have to check that out on the internet tonight and to for now I can already start getting the clay off in the meantime, I see the car arriving there. 
are the metal sheets for the roof we are going to make here. Uh, so yeah, that, that project will come after this is finished. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this off. Tomorrow I will put the concrete. Then we still have to wait for this, uh, the iron rack, the, the grill, because I need to have the grill to measure how far I have to lay the bricks out of each other so uh, they kept us waiting longer than a month already so that's pretty fucked up but I'm going to get the steel plates now all right I got the clay off <laughs> as far as I could uh, the rest pieces I let dry so tomorrow I can wrap it off pretty easy I made this thing in the meantime quite thick let's see if it's not going to burn <laughs> but uh, that looks quite nice so tomorrow I'm going to cover with concrete the plate for the roof arrived 16 pieces of 4 meters so uh, that should cover this area this tree until that tree till there till here so you have a big square here a little bit over there and that's where the lounge will come that's where the gym area will come here in the corner <sighs> yeah slowly step by step every day you get closer right that's the power of doing a little bit every day never underestimate that just do a little bit every day or a lot and eventually it will add up if you look what, what we did here in the last 11 months because 11 months ago we arrived here well we transformed the land quite a lot already so i'm curious how it will look like in another 11 months so let's see for now rest and a nice barbecue tonight all right guys i did it again but this time with cement looks also really nice so it's a little bit dark now but it will get the same color as this so i think in the end it will e will be even more beautiful than the white clay though i like the clay quite a lot but yeah let's see hopefully this is not going to crack because it's going to be very hot today maybe it dries up too fast or whatever you never know <laughs> so uh let's uh see how it goes Yo guys, you won't believe where we are. We are at the top of a mountain at a rainbow gathering. And it was a hell of a ride to get up here. The car could barely make it. And uh, a lot of people, they said like, oh, please take my, uh, my luggage and stuff. So the car was fully loaded and I'm happy we made it. But you gotta see this view. Oh yeah, All right guys, we are back home. Uh, it was a crazy experience yesterday over there. High up in the mountain, getting there with the car was a hell of a ride, but an amazing experience. All the people were living so freely there. It was like uh, crazy to experience. So uh, yeah, good to have that experience in our pocket. Uh, we went back home late in the evening because those people, they stay there for a month. They like survive on top of the mountain. They have to hike up three hours <laughs> so uh, yeah we went back because we have the animals we have to take care of them we came home and we made a nice campfire here so yeah the end result of the pizza oven is really nice hopefully it's not going to crack 
but so far so good no cracks seeable maybe when i heat it up that there start to come some cracks but at least it's not going to fall apart just like the clay did so now it's still waiting for the barbecue rack um, and the wood and then i can make some holes in the ground and start building the roof and everything over here but that project you will see in the next video because this video is probably long enough so i'm going to wrap it up thank you for watching if you liked it please subscribe to our channel right here and if you like what we do you can check previous videos right here and don't forget to tell your friends and family about Noah's art campsite ciao